Hi everyone and welcome to Natasha's Lips, Tips and Great Flips. I'm your host, Natasha Jameson. On our show we focus on overall wellness as we provide help necessary for creating a healthy and fulfilling life by offering knowledge to change your mindset. This is my passion and I hope that I inspire you to live your own. We have an exciting show for you today as we delve into our spiritual side with intuitive channeler and spiritual healer Elena Ivana as she helps us understand how to repair and overcome obstacles in our life. Also joining us today is comedian Marquis, and we find out how he's bringing his own brand of humor to the masses. But first, we kick things off by talking trends with the one and only Gail Harrington. Welcome back, Gail. Hi, Natasha. I'm so happy to be back I, with you. You have no idea. And I say welcome back because you and I were on another platform before, yes. so Gail is back. I'm super excited. Yes. Okay, so we are talking trends. We are talking the package-free products. Mm -hmm. This is the new movement in the beauty industry. You know how the beauty industry loves innovative new technology, new things. It's constantly like posting and producing and marketing different mm -hmm. types of products and packages mm -hmm. because the consumer nowadays is aware of everything. And in aware of environmental concerns Absolutely. like never before in history. Never before. So what's happening now? So we're, the, we're kind of moving into a package-free movement, mm -hmm. which means everything is going to be sold in a more solid form where it's starting from this year forward. Mm -hmm. More solid form for every single thing from even shampoos to makeup, even probably it's going to go into the area of shops that are actually creating these, mm -hmm. you know, help yourself more dry products, solid products mm -hmm. without, you know, polluting the environment. So the consumer is very environmentally aware. They want to contribute. And, you know, this is the wave of the future. It's like the, they're calling it the naked movement, which is great. I mean, it's great for travel, these solid products. I think this would be and, so much better. And the packaging, even you can buy something in a piece of cardboard that you then can plant and it Absolutely. has a flower in it or yes. something like that. Yes. Yes. So we can justify our That's right, our purchases. purchases. <laughs> like so 60%. Before. It's going to kind of go into that way, as you're saying, you know, where you can kind of recycle, reduce, reuse, yeah. and then it's going to go all the way. And it's also affiliated with the waterless movement. Right. Water being the what? Right. Number well, one ingredient. The number one ingredient. And also, it's the water in things, as we've discovered, That's that right. makes them go off. Right. So this is so, great for them. Totally. Longer shelf life. Yes. You know, you're getting your biggest bang for your buck mm -hmm. you know they can you know reach out more you know consumers that are very very aware that want to be environmentally friendly that want to have like these products because mm -hmm. there's like a huge movement yeah. to think that way so yeah. this is very very exciting i think yeah and it's a win for the consumer it's a win for the company it's a win absolutely. for the environment absolutely so we're going to be going into the next trend right now already already oh already my. we're talking about the anastasia eyebrows Okay, right. so Anastasia eyebrows, you know, the, it's not gone away, basically. It's just slightly different and tweaked. Right. Instead of them being identical twins, they're more sisters. sisters. Because everybody's our sisters. That's right. Everybody and nobody's has a perfect. favorite. Nobody's perfect. No. You know, your eyebrows shouldn't be stamped on. Right. So this is exactly why it's going a little softer, and eyebrows are very important at every age. Oh, Especially as you get older and they start to fade and you start to lose the outside edge and Everything. you don't want to look like a Vulcan, so you no. have to get in there. Yes, it's really, really important to actually have eyebrows, but your unique eyebrows, because that's the movement. Right. The trend is embracing the beauty that you have. Perfect is boring. I've said this so many times. Yeah, Perfect is that's so right. boring. But still we want to get a professional to yes. take a look at them and to, for groom instance, them groom them up pluck them, and yes. then you can follow the line yourself Absolutely. afterwards. Absolutely, shape them up a little bit for yourself um, yeah. by just following the work that they've done. That's right. Um, kind of the theory for me, just to make it really, really simple, if you have a really nice eyebrow, you just want to darken it, like the hairs, mm -hmm. use like a mascara. 
Mm -hmm. It's a mascara mm -hmm. wand, yeah. you know, or gel. shadow gel, something. Yeah, hair spray even. Just something. If On an you old toothbrush, even if you've got one. Absolutely, absolutely. You could use literally anything. Yes. But if you don't have a well-shaped or yes. if you have bare spots or they're thin or you over-tweeze them, yeah. definitely go into the pencil. You want to be staining the skin. That's right. And then you perhaps want to put a little bit of just a, a, a taupey brown yes. eyeshadow on top yes. to seal just the eyebrow it. in for Absolutely. the whole day. Or a little hairspray or any. These product companies, they know what they're doing. They have every single thing available. We're just making it a oh. little bit easier to navigate. Yeah, the number You have of the eyebrows, go with the mascaras and shadows. Right. You don't have them, then you definitely want to be doing more pencil because you have to stain the skin. Right. So, but it's very aging to have thin eyebrows and definitely a statement eyebrow at 40 over. <laughs> I don't know about that. Unless you're Joan Crawford. Uh, maybe, I guess. And please, please, for the love of Jesus, remove the dark black Sharpie. That should never be a pigment you should ever use. For, How did oh that get my, started I in the first know. place? I want it to not happen. I just don't <laughs> want to see it. I don't want to go up to somebody and go, <laughs> and remove them. So it's very, very interesting. But we, we really love the new look. It's uniquely accepting who you are. And I think that's really, Always. really great. You definitely need an eyebrow, especially as you get older. We're just not saying that you need to go all the way. But they do frame the face, as they always say. They're like the frame around the picture. Yes. Of your face. Yes, of course they frame your face. They lift your eye. And if you have disappearing tails, I'm so glad that you said that. You do have to make sure the arch is balanced. Ladies, please don't have your eyebrows disappear. Yes. No, <laughs> no, absolutely not. That's not a good look for anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're a Vulcan. Oh, I guess so. I don't know. But, you know, this is like the new movement in the Anastasia brow. I know that it's the trend that's going to stay, but it's just not as dark as severe because even if frequent touching up, you stand the chance of going too dark. So I always okay, say... Which makes you look angry. Oh, a lot of things. It just droops them right down. Go a shade lighter. Go a shade lighter with your pencil yes. or your shadows. Yes. That's a really great tip. Yes, and usually stay in the cool family as well, unless Absolutely. you're a flaming redhead, in which Absolutely. case you'd want to have you a little can. bit of auburn. And you love pictures. Take a selfie. Pictures never lie. Pictures never, unfortunately, pictures unfortunately. never lie. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I used to say that to my students. Step away from the mirror if they're yes. like coloring, doing corrective services, yes. cutting, or doing a makeup ap application. Yeah. Step about three feet back from the mirror. Yeah. Your eye wants to scan. If it stops somewhere, right. there's if a problem. That's right. If it stops somewhere, there's a problem. You need to blend well that out. Said. Yes. yes. So that's how I used to evaluate them. So yeah. definitely the same rules will apply for anybody. You know, step away, take a picture, or ask somebody, or just look at yourself. Yeah. You know, all those things. But eyebrows are really important, mm -hmm. and we definitely need to keep that in mind. And the movement forward is, you know, whatever works for you based on your needs. These companies like are becoming more savvy, more natural. They're taking all these things into consideration. There's a new brow Vegan. product out every day. There really is. So they're, you know, making sure that you know the the whole body mind connection follows right through. So that's all we want to say. And that is it. No. Yes. Yes. Can that's I come back? Want. Of course you can come back. Well, I, I hope that you come back now that you're back. You have to stay with me. You can't leave me again. We've got a date. Okay, it's a date. Up next, we talk with Elena Ivana. Stay with us. Natasha's Lips, Tips, and Great Flips is sponsored by AMMA Ajax Mixed Martial Arts Academy. Offering classes in Muay Thai and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu for all men and women. Sign up now for your free one-month membership. Also offering Women's Strength and Conditioning Body Blast Boot Camp. Includes a one-week free trial. St. Nadala Macedonian Orthodox Church, located in Ajax, Ontario, offering banquet hall facilities for your weddings, celebrations, and special events, accommodating up to 250 guests. Welcome back. Joining us is intuitive channeler and spiritual healer, Elena Ivana. She specializes in spiritual readings, channeling, messages, and emotional healing. She is here to share with us how a spiritual healer can help us repair and overcome any obstacles in our life. Welcome to the show, Elena. 
Thank you for having me today. Absolute pleasure to have you. We know that there's a lot of people watching today that are very open to spiritual and intuitive abilities. But we also know that there's just as many skeptics and non-believers. But we are not here to convince anyone to believe. We're just here to, uh, to help them understand the process of spiritual healing. Correct. Right? So let's start there, Elena. What is an intu uh, intuitive channeler and spiritual healer, and how are you able to help people? Tell us well, that. Well, first of all, someone who definitely has a gift, mm -hmm. gift of channeling or, or where, where intuition is very pr highly pronounced, mm -hmm. which I believe that each and one of us have that yes. within us. It's an innate gift. Mm -hmm. So in my, in my particular case, uh, I've been uh, actually very blessed to help people since very early age. Mm -hmm. So professionally, I can say I've been a psychic, intuitive channeler and healer for the past 20 years. Wow. Yes. That's amazing. So the way I help people, basically, you know, people come, people seek help when, when they're going through a transition yes. or a difficult timing. They do. And this is, my job is to help them with the guidance. However, uh, to provide them with the guidance and help them answer questions or go through whatever they're going through, help them, you know, declutter whatever there is emotional yes, problems that they have or whatever. Yes they're going through transitions in their lives. However, mm -hmm. but obviously it's always about the free will. So they have to be willing and open, open. to get this advice in order my, my job to be very successful. Now let me ask you this, would somebody know if they were in need of emotional healing? Would they even know that if they needed that? Well, it's a very interesting question. Yes, they do actually. Do they? People, when people come to see me, is they come actually because they are ready to receive the guidance. Okay. They already know that they're going through transitions or they need a further guidance. Okay. Perhaps, you know, they need a clarification on stuff that have happened or they are happening currently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or in 99%, everybody wants to know what is that going to be happening in their lives in the future. Right. You know, everybody's about future. When am I going to meet that guy? Yes, that's a most <laughs> I know. frequent asked question. <laughs> but mean, yes, you know, everyone, you know, yes, when people see guidance is because they're going through transitions. That's true. Now, I'm really interested in understanding the circumstances behind you understanding and realizing your gift. Well, that wasn't easy for me. I'm sure. uh, it was very difficult at, at first because that's not something that I was intending to do for myself because I was finishing my law school oh, okay. when everything just kind of clicked together. But just going back uh, when I was like a early teens, I, I love to do a Turkish coffee cup readings mm -hmm. because as you know, people from Balkans, Serbians, yes. Romanians, they Macedonians, love they love Turkish coffee. So I used to do that for fun. Mm -hmm. But people would be always like, wow, that's amazing. Everything had happened. I, I was laughing at first I was yeah. like no that's just a coincidence mm -hmm. but so I was you were always bang on every time in like a 99.9 percent oh. so then I actually took an effort mm -hmm. and I've studied astrology ma okay. many healing modalities I actually oh, okay. put lifelong uh, uh, studying studying spiritual stuff right everything from everything. Kabbalah to astrology every kind of healing modality you can imagine like from theta healing Reiki access consciousness everything I've really worked on myself so I can yes. help people better. It's not about just pulling cards, right. like sometimes people think or they call it a fortune teller. It's way yes. beyond. Yes, absolutely. So I'm very fascinated to understand how exactly your gift works because so many people have the gift, but it works a little different with everybody. So how does yours Correct. work? Correct. But well, it's again, it's a very instinctual thing. Okay. We all Do you see it? Do you hear great it? Great question. Where I happen to be a clary audient, which clary means audience. I receive messages via auditory uh, perception. Okay. However, I do get my visions, but uh, it's just, I'm going to be very honest with you. I'm a very natural person, mm -hmm. you know, very I'm easy going, very going, you know, going with the flow. Mm -hmm. And my gift actually arrives differently. Sometimes yes. I get in the forms of visions, sometimes just just flows. Yes. So while we're I talking don't restrict about this. myself. No, I you meant. shouldn't. Of course. I know that some people might have just one of the, the intuitive abilities or a few. It's very unlikely to have all three or four, right? No, well, it's or not some, really unlikely no? nowadays. Well, it's uh, uh, again, it's a great question. So let's just clarify because we are so open today. We're living in age of Aquarius oh, yes. and, and everything is available to mm. us. So now people actually, they work on themselves on daily, whether okay. you implement this a special re regimen, whether exercise or mind body, you do meditation, yoga, you actually opening up your senses and your chakras. Okay. So many people do have all these senses. Actually. So tell us the other ones. You said you're clear well, audience. The, the 
main three one, yeah. uh, ones are a uh, clear audience, okay. a clear voice, which means receiving a, a via, you know, visual, visions, visions correct. Symbols. Clary sentient, uh, it's usually people that are into a lot of healings and empaths, okay. you know, they receive through their senses, which nowadays oh. almost every single You're person kidding. is clary sentient. Very interesting. So quantum physics tells us that everything has an energy and a vibration. Absolutely. So we are living in a world, unfortunately, it's not all good. There's evil, there's bad things. How do we protect ourselves from negative things, people, situations? That's the most frequent asked question. Okay. My clients, that's the first thing that they ask me. Well, there is several ways. I mean, there is a million ways around mm -hmm. it. But just to sum up, what I always suggest to people, first of all, your mindset. Mm -hmm. You know, positively, positive mindset can only uh, attract you positive people and positive. So right. this is the first thing you got to take care you of your own your mindset. mindset. That's the first and outmost. Mm -hmm. How you take care of your mind, body, and soul. Second, you know, in a, in a form of physical protection, you know, there is many modalities that you can do that. I usually suggest people crystals. Crystals are beautiful, they're natural from the earth. Mm -hmm. So just sometimes carrying certain crystals such as black yes. tourmaline, obsidian can help you protect yourself. Thank you so much. More with Alina when we come back. Stay with us. Natasha's Lips, Tips and Great Flips is sponsored by Synchronicity Durham. By collaborating within each level of the community, the main purpose of Synchronicity Durham is to empower every open-minded citizen in Durham region with the tools and resources to achieve their greatest dreams, goals, and passions. Welcome back. We are here with Elena Ivana, an intuitive channeler and spiritual healer. From what I understand, Elena, most people have some sort of a sixth sense. As we begin to develop our intuition, it's very normal to have unanswered questions as well as the inability to understand how to interpret them. So I guess, um, why would you believe, what do you believe that, you know, everybody has an uh, intuition, an ability, and how to understand it a little bit better? Well, we are all born with a gift. It's mm -hmm. just a matter of time. Some people use it, some people don't, or some people just blocking themselves from not being able to use the gift. But it's very simple. Mm -hmm. that our intuition is basically our connection to our higher selves, which comes through your third eye chakra, which is located right, right. above your mm -hmm. eyes. So we all have that. So therefore, we all do have this ability to develop those intuitive abilities. But some people, some people have, let's say from birth, they're literally born with that huge sixth sense that is very open, like many famous mediums yes. or channelers mm -hmm. were. That's a little bit different, but each and one of us have the ability to use it. But what is, so why would somebody not choose to use it or not understand how to use it? Maybe take us through that. Well, very simple. Some people either do not believe it or they think this is something supernatural or dark. Okay. Like people used to be live like 100 years ago, as you know. Mm -hmm. And secondary, sometimes just people, you know, they, they do, they're not confident enough. You see, it's all in confidence. Yes. You know, they don't accept the part of themselves. Yeah. So that's my next question. We are constantly given symbols, messages, and signs from yes. spirit from the other side. Yes. But some people will receive it and some people will dismiss it based on, you know, just who they are. What should we be looking for? Well, first of all, we are all receiving those messages yes. on a daily basis. It's, the point is we have to recognize and yes. then act upon it. Okay. So, you know, I'm just going to give you a few, a few examples yes. because this is, again, the most frequent asked questions by everyone. Uh, everyone nowadays seeing those numbers like a triple digits, double mm -hmm. digits, 11, 11, 2, 2, 2, 5, 5, 5, they call them angel numbers. Okay. Like, but also could be different kind of, you yes. know, premonitions, like sometimes people see birds they fly on their windows, they think somebody, you know, like a spirit yes. from heaven. Many people do see, you know, like a silhouette or energies around them, which possibly a spirits or angels or dream premonitions. That's, that's a very, uh, very common thing. But how do you know and to decipher from what is just like, oh, I just saw, you know, 777 three times and this means something to me? Because a lot of people, life is busy, they're just going. Well, you, what's your advice? Well, my pay attention, ad stop. My ad that's the only thing. Sometimes we don't pay attention because as you said, we are very busy. The life mm -hmm. is hectic and very busy for everyone. But people are actually very, very curious nowadays. So they do actually make an effort. They do find out. I find lately, I found out lately over the years that people are actually very attuned what's going on. 
oh. because nowadays social media, everything yes. is so open. Yeah. So I, I believe that the not many people are in dark, actually. So we're moving into a more spiritual kind of awakening, understanding well, the Well, that's flow. the only way. That's the only way that we can cope, you know, because in order to move forward in life, you have to be in sync. It's not only your body, but yes. it's also your mind, but also your spirit, yes. your soul. Yes, the vibrational energy. Correct. So I know that you really incorporate crystals, which yes, I love, I love too, crystals. into your, you know, your work every day. Tell us about them, because I know they can amplify intentions and help you kind of be more in tune to intuitive abilities. Oh, absolutely. Like my office, as you know, <laughs> is full of crystals. For me, it's all about great energy. Yes. Uh, and they're very helpful, not only for protection. Let's mm -hmm. see if you're feeling moody, you're going through something, certain crystals can help you, like uh, amplify, like mm -hmm. feeling of positivity, yes. diminish feelings of negativity. If mm -hmm. you're going through something, it's good to use, and they're very safe and, and actually very potent. Now tell me which ones you like. You know I'm going to ask you that. I like them all. Because I cannot everybody's discriminate. Because everybody's going to want to... To, to find out more. Few. Yeah, of course. Honestly, I do love them all and I don't want to really say one more than another, but okay. if I have to choose few, very commonly used is an amethyst. Amethyst? Which people know about it. It's a purple stone. Mm -hmm. This is a perfect stone for amplifying your third eye, intuition, okay. but also protecting your heart, especially if you're going through healing. Okay. Uh, another one that I really love is citrine. It's a yes. yellowish one that attracts yes. abundance, positive energy. Mm -hmm. And usually people, I always say to people, if you feel negative and a little bit down and moody, carry a, 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 yes, a crystal, yes. like, a, like a citrine. Mm -hmm. Either a form of a pendant or a bracelet, mm -hmm. or sometimes people have those little charm bags with them, yes, like I give course. to people for a gifts. Yes. So perfect. What about for love? What's your stone of choice? Obviously, There's probably a few, but has to be the... combination of a rose quartz right. and carnelian. Carnelian. Because they oh. amplify in heart love, which also gives you self love, but helps you attract love. Well, that's where it starts from. Because it's that's where it starts. Love. Absolutely. Yes. You know, you can't live. You know how they say you can't live a positive love life with a negative mindset. The same yes. about love. You don't love yourself, yes. but you seeking love is not going to happen. Yes. I know you're an avid, um, your statements about like vibrating higher and being at a higher energy is something Correct. that you really like, you really believe and you talk about often. Oh, absolutely. But tell our viewers why, because I think that's really important. What happens when you're down here? Or what happens when you're vibrating higher? Well, definitely when you put yourself in a higher state of mind, a vibrational higher state of mind, it's very important because this is how we actually attract in whatever we, you know, whatever intentions we have, we tend to manifest them through that way. Because again, if you're very negative and blocked, it's hard to manifest. But again, this is nothing to be a burden. No. It's, it's a solvable thing, but also a very important thing surroundings you have to be very careful who you surround yourself with it's very true you know what i mean yes. i think this is a number one thing so the the top five people you surround yourself with <laughs> That's the most important. Yes. And again, I want to be respectful. People do go through transitions. Yes, they Maybe do. they are negative and stuff, but yes. it doesn't mean yes. that this condition should remain for another hundred years. Yes, of course. And before we go, please give our viewers your spiritual message. We have to give them a takeaway. Oh. I always say that. <laughs> What's your takeaway, Alina? Oh, I have so many, so I have Just to three, think three quickly. Things. Well, very important. We uh, uh, The biggest and greatest message I can convey to our uh, people around us and viewers and people in the world is take care of your physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual well-being. Actually, that's yes, four. That's okay. So that's the most Perfect. important. That's a secret of person success. Thank you so Everyone. much for being a part of the show. Thank you. Your pleasure. And up next, we speak with comedian Marquis. Stay with us. Natasha's Lips, Tips, and Great Flips is sponsored by St. Nadala Macedonian Orthodox Church, located in Ajax, Ontario. Offering banquet hall facilities for your weddings, celebrations, and special events, accommodating up to 250 guests. Invictus Equality. We are the mistresses and the masters of our gender equality destiny. Welcome back. Here with us now is aspiring comedian Marquis. He is here to talk about the journey on the path of living his dreams out loud, or how he would say it, living life to the fullest. Is there any other way, Marquis? There's no other way. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Natasha. Absolutely pleasure. Everyone loves a good laugh, and there's nothing better than laughing out loud with friends. It instantly has the power to change your day. It's true what they say, that laughter is the best medicine and the cheapest. So, Dr. Marquis, 
I think it has like a really nice ring to I it. I like it. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep that. The, the doctor of doctor loveology. Doctor of the yes. Oh, that's it. That's Ooh, it. The doctor of like, the house. I know, right? I'm the doctor of hairology, <laughs> yeah. so you're the doctor of loveology. There you go. <laughs> Anyways, let's talk about how you discovered that you were destined for comedy. Well, from a very young age, yeah. I came from a large family. Okay. So from a very long age, I was always the one who was kind of, you know, kind of small, kind of left out. I was trying to find my role in the family. Okay. I wasn't the smartest. I wasn't the best looking. I wasn't the strongest. But I, saw, I found I could make people laugh. Right. So that was my thing. So I honed that in every education I got to make someone laugh. I just jumped in there and tried to make a joke. So you were the, the class clown and everything? The class clown, family clown, that oh, kind of thing. Man. Just to, you know? Yes. So what is the process in finding your audience? That's what I want to know. Everybody is different. Comedians are different. No two. Hairstylists the same or doctors. How mm -hmm. do you find that specific niche that works for you? Well, I think I'll look at it differently. I think your audience finds you. Really? Yes. That's an if, interesting. Yeah, tell if, us what. If tell you're us yourself, how. Yeah. you're going to pick up you're going to pick up an audience, right? Okay. That's why I try to be someone else. It's kind of hard for them to zone on me. So I, I, I tend to be myself. Yes. And then I find my audience. If they, if they think I'm funny, doesn't matter who they are. Mm -hmm. If they think I'm funny, they want to laugh at me. You're welcome to come in and be part of my project. So when you find something works for you, do you kind of develop that direction of whatever it was the joke was about? Yeah, definitely. I, yeah? If it's working and the audience is receiving it, yes. so you're I'm like, going to keep have, going. I'm keep going. I, like, I like to push the limits a little yeah. bit and then I kind of step back. Yeah, okay. Kind of yeah. I want to know about some bad experiences that you've had on stage. Because, you know, we've all had them. Oh, yeah. I'm not talking about the heckler yet, as of yet. I'm just talking about you bombed or you forgot a oh. joke or you froze or something. You know what? I think you have to bomb. You have and, to and bomb. Don't be That's where you learn, right? That's where you grow, you yeah. know? <laughs> bombing. And I've been in front of an audience where I just bomb and it was just looking at me yeah. and frozen, but it felt good in a way. I don't know why. Yeah. I was kind of enjoying this whole situation. Yes. But I've also had where everyone's laughing. I've had one where one lady, everyone else in the crowd was laughing, but one lady wasn't laughing. I'm like, why is she not laughing? Well, that's what so I started what focusing on her. Oh. And then I lost it all. And so, yes. I, so you can't focus on one person, just laugh, focus on the crowd. Don't we all do that? It's like that. You could literally have a fantastic show or your fast, fantastic, fantastic speaking engagement or anything like that, and you focus on that one person exactly. that didn't laugh or said something to you. Mm -hmm. Like it's happened to me. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter what anybody else says, I just pick that moment out. Exactly. What do you do? How do you get past that in the industry, in the world? Like, how do you do it? Just kind of put it behind you, or if you can, try to see him after and say, why weren't oh, you laughing? Why weren't you that. laughing? Woo! Oh, <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't recommend you do that, but We yeah. don't promote I, that I, I here. I try that, you know. We're, we're a physically. wellness show here, yeah. uh, Marky. <laughs> <laughs> we don't promote that. <laughs> okay, now I want to talk about the dreaded heckler. Mm -hmm. There's always going to be that person. So how do you get past that point? How do you kind of... You know, you know what? I'm fine with hecklers. If you want to heckle me, come bring it on. I'm going to take your energy. Challenge. I'm going to bring it back to you. Challenge. That kind of thing. Because I have the microphone. Okay. I'm the one in charge. How do you come and try to you know, take my attention away from me? Right. So I, but I like to use the heckler. Yeah. And I'm not trying to hurt them, but I just sort of put them in place and make them. Does it know work? The place. It, Does works. it work? It works. I, yeah. think I've seen, I haven't had anyone really heckle me, heckle me really badly, but I've seen other comedians where they have to put the person in the place, right? Mm -hmm. Or else you're going to lose the whole audience. That's true. Mm -hmm. But can they turn on you then? They, like, it's a fine line. It's mm -hmm. like a dance. Mm -hmm. It's a fine it's a line. line. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. Don't want, you, don't want your, you definitely want your audience turning on you. To start throwing yeah, things yeah. at you. <laughs> <laughs> Potatoes. <laughs> but I guess any reaction is better than no well, reaction. I guess so. Yeah. I guess so. Um, so I can imagine that there's a natural high. I totally can relate this to mm -hmm. this. You know, being in front of a class, you know, being in, on stage or whatever. Like, does it become something very addictive? Yes, definitely. That's what I thought. You it's, crave it. It's like a drug. I thought it. it's a drug. People, it's a drug. comedians, I've, I've read, a, I've read a, a lot of biographies about comedians who, you know, and that's the same thing. They yeah. want that drug. They might have a really bad life or whatever, but yes. on stage, that's their time. That's where they're at the best. Yeah. And so it is a drug. It's a good yeah. feeling. And after you're off, they're like, oh, I did it. Yeah. I made everyone laugh. It was good. You know, what's yeah. next? What's next? Yes. What if you don't do as well? But you guys say, I'm, I'm going back next I'm time. I'm going back, I'm and I'm going to make sure. Yes, I'm That's it, back. they're laughing. They have to laugh. Yes. Um, how do you know when you're funny? A lot of people think they're funny. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're not. I don't know. Mm -hmm. You tell me I'm funny. You're I funny. You're I'm... hilarious. I think you should go on, come on my show one day. Listen, we got I'm a lot gonna... of dreams going on. We need to scale back a little bit, OK? All right. <laughs> but uh, how do you know that this is a career for you, that you can actually do this, other people find you funny? Yeah. How do you know? It's a calling. I think deep down inside, you feel the calling. It's being called. Oh, okay. If you're not on stage, you're like, you know, I want to go back on stage. I want that energy. I want that vibe, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm not getting that. I'm not receiving yeah. that fix. Back to the drugger thing again, right? So yeah. it's, it's definitely a calling, and you're going to feel it. Yeah. What is the process in you finding your material? Experiences. 
I just tell stories, stuff that happened yeah. to me, because the craziest things happened to me, right? Yes. I just seem to be that type of person. I attract strange things and strange people, and I love people. I love yes. talking to people yes. and getting more, you know, I'm trying yes. to meet everyone I can. Yes. Like I, I'd like to say, uh, if someone has, every, every person you meet has to teach you something. That's and if true. you're not teaching me nothing, leave, you know? Ooh. That kind of thing. Okay. On to the next person. Wow. But that's also a lesson, too. That is a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of lessons yes. here. So if you had some sort of a situation, good, bad, funny, you can actually make a negative situation funny on yes. stage. Yes, yes. it's all Making material. Making fun of yourself. Yeah, I'm, 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 trust me, there's a lot of stuff to make fun of about myself. I, I, can, <laughs> I can go on for days about myself, my, oh. all my idiosyncrasies and that kind yeah, of thing. I'm so, sure lots everybody of material. can. Oh, yeah, and just stuff from your childhood, too, you could bring up. And like I said, for me, comedy is therapy. And back it to is that therapy. therapy. It's therapeutic. You get it all out, you know? Like, we're told not to say certain things. And I think in comedy, you go on stage and you say the things that you're told not to tell, tell not to talk about. Well, that's the thing. That's is anything off limits, really? This shouldn't. It, this when you're on, performing, it, it depends on how you say it. That's Everything, true. There shouldn't be anything off limits. How you deal with it, that's the difference. Is there's the right way and the wrong way to deal with with a situation? Well, tell us. Give us an example, just so that people can understand what an you example? mean. Example? Yeah, like of one of your jokes. Oh, jeez, you put me on the spot oh, with my jokes. What? That's what I do. I don't want to tell. <laughs> is it, what, what kind of show is this? Is this, is this an adult show? I can't. Family show. Okay, okay. Next question. <laughs> You're so funny. I don't want to mess you up. Okay, all right. Well, before we go, what advice would you give to someone looking to pursue their dreams, their passion, maybe get into comedy? Like, really give them the kind of the breakdown. Because it's not easy. It's not. I said definitely. The it is very hard. It doesn't matter. You have a goal and mm -hmm. a dream. It's literally like it can consume you. Yes. It can break you down, yes. you know, and mm -hmm. family can be the worst. Yes. I, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it just happens and you just have to deal with it. So tell us. I think, like I heard a saying, the best ideas or the best um, are in graveyards. And that's the worst thing when you pass away oh. and, you've, and you've done, you didn't do what you wanted to do. The yes. regret, that regret, you know, I didn't do this. I should have done that. Mm -hmm. Think about that right now. Yeah. I want to do something, why not go and do it? That's so right. in, the, in the future, I'm not going to have any regrets. Yes. So that's, that's what I, I look like. I don't want to have any regrets when I'm no longer around. Yes. Or, is, that, is that kind of morbid? No, no, no but it makes sense. I, I, I totally understand, mm -hmm. and I'm sure our viewers can as well, that you, know, you have something in your heart, like you said. You feel like you need to pursue it. If you don't, mm -hmm. you're going to regret it. Yeah. And they always do. They always say the things that you didn't try, mm -hmm on your deathbed mm -hmm. is what is yep. going to really upset you. Yep. It doesn't matter if you, you know, lose or win. Mm -hmm. That is irrelevant. It's whether you try it or not. Exactly. And tell me about your children. Like, what do they think about this? Oh, they, you know what? They're my biggest fans. They, like, they're great. my biggest source of material. So I talk with my kids a lot and yeah. all the things that they put me through, they test me and they're very smart. And you know, so that's what, I'm fortunate to have kids who give me material for my work and they don't mind me talking about them and yes. embarrassing them. Oh. Mind you, you they're like, Mom, don't mention me on camera. <laughs> you always talk about me, Mom, don't mention me. That's why you do even more. That's why I do even and more. And then yeah. when you ask me to do speaking uh, events, yeah. I'm, what am I talking about? Your kids, yeah. I'm the funniest when my kids yes. are involved. Yes, yeah, so I'm yeah. definitely going to hold you to it. My next show, I want you to come out and oh, do God. a set because you're hilarious. I can see it. I'm nervous about that, but I'll think about it. Do it Thank anyway. you no so regrets. much. No regrets. Thank you so much, Marquis. Right. It's a pleasure. That's all the time that we have for today. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Natasha's Lips, Tips, and Great Flips is sponsored by AMMA Ajax Mixed Martial Arts Academy, offering classes in Muay Thai and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu for all men and women. Sign up now for your free one-month membership. Also offering Women's Strength and Conditioning Body Blast Boot Camp includes a one-week free trial. St. Nadala Macedonian Orthodox Church, located in Ajax, Ontario, offering banquet hall facilities for your weddings, celebrations, and special events, accommodating up to 250 guests. Invictus Equality. We are the mistresses and the masters of our gender equality destiny. Synchronicity Durham. By collaborating within each level of the community, the main purpose of Synchronicity Durham is to empower every open-minded citizen in Durham region with the tools and resources to achieve their greatest dreams, goals, and passions.